Hello to all the Biotechnica subscribers. This is Tithi here. And today I am going to uh, present to you two UPSC positions that have recently come up. Okay, so the advertisement has come just on 14th and the application dates are still going on. So these are two, uh, th these are for the online, uh, online recruitment applications uh, for Union Serv uh, Public Service Commission that is UPSC position. So they, they, they have published a series of different vacancies out of that two are definitely relevant to us all that is from the field of biology and biotechnology. So these two positions, what are the requirements, what are the specifications of these two positions, everything I'm going to tell you about. And along with that, I will also guide you how to apply and what are the important things that you should keep in mind while applying for these positions. So let's dive in. Uh, the first position that is of our relevance is for scientist B toxicology position. And here the number of posts available is only one. Uh, this, advertisement, this advertisement is for the position for the Department Directorate of uh, Forensic Science Services. There is an age limit given for the post which should not exceed 35 years. Okay. Now this is for the normal candidates but there are some relaxations given here and the relaxations are mentioned depending on the government rules that are there Okay, for different uh, for ex-government employees and other candidates. So definitely you need to go through the entire the detail application if you are looking for any age relaxation. Otherwise for normal candidates it will be not exceeding 35 years. Now, this post scientist B toxicology in the Department of Forensic Science Services is a permanent post, okay, but it includes a probation of two years, all right. So, after a probation of two years, you will be taken as a permanent uh, recruitment, but the post, post here is permanent only. Now, coming to the exciting part, that is the pay scale. Uh, so, the candidates who will be recruited at this position will be recruited uh, or they, they will be eligible for level 10 uh, pay scale in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the pay matrix, which comes to around uh, in, the, in the range of rupees 56,000 to 177,000 per month. Okay, so that will be the range. Now, what are the qualifications that are required for application in this post? So, in terms of education, a person may be master's in chemistry, biochemistry, pharmacology, pharmacy, forensic sciences with chemistry in all the three years. Okay, so that is important. And for experience also is required here. This, uh, this position is not for a fresher. So experience of three years is required for uh, uh, and the experience should be in, the, uh, in, in analytical methods and research in toxicology from government recognized organization. Okay. And it is mentioned also very clearly that in case not enough people are applying, then the, uh, then the, and then the number of years, uh, in, in the experience that is required may be reduced. Okay. But that also in the condition when not enough applications they are getting, but the relevance of the experience is going to stay. Okay. So please apply to this post only when you are, uh, you, you qualify this, uh, this, uh, this qualifications. Okay. You, you have this qualifications in education also in terms of experience, because then only your application will be selected and uh, forwarded to the next round. Okay. Or else they will simply, uh, it is clearly mentioned in the advertisement that the applications where the education or the experience are not meeting. So that will be uh, rejected. Now, coming to the second position, which is also available for all the biology uh, uh, um, uh, candidates, okay, from, from the biology field. So, this uh, position is for senior scientific officer. Here also, number of posts available is one. The department is Department of Environment 
and the age require the age limit is not exceeding 40 years okay so for scientist b it was 35 years but here it is 40 years now as i told you for the previous position also so here also it is applicable only for the normal candidates but the age relaxation that is given for the uh, given by the uh, by, by the indian government that applies okay so for the detail please look into the detail um, uh, detail application uh, application advertisement that has that is published in the upsc site now this position is also a permanent position but it includes a probation of one year pay scale here is it's a senior position than scientist b so the pay scale here will be level 11 in the pay matrix now let's have a look at the qualifications that are required so in terms of education, anybody who has a master's degree in environmental engineering can apply or it can be a doctorate degree in natural sciences. Now, natural sciences mean pure and applied okay, in physics, chemistry and biology. So not only like I uh, from the advertisement, I can make out that like anybody from biology, from zoology, botany, biochemistry, biotechnology, genetic engineering, because they are all applied sciences of biology. So everybody can apply here. Okay. But since I think that since the position is for the Department of Environment, so environmental sciences, if you have, so that will give you a edge here. So masters, the third qualification education can be, so either this, or this or this one that is master's degree in environmental sciences followed by mphil or phd in environmental sciences okay now here also you require an experience and experience of since this is a senior position than the previous one scientist b here uh, experience required is five years okay so five years in teaching or research in an educational research organization or administrative experience in the period of environment from a recognized in uh, rec recognized organization okay now it, it goes beyond mentioning that for the educational qualification whatever degrees are required it has to be from a recognized organization or institution okay now let's see how to apply now they have mentioned it very clearly in the advertisement that the candidates can apply only online okay only online applications will be taken and for that you can re, you can you can visit the website http uh, www.upsconline.nic.in okay so this is the website for upsc online uh, application and you need to go there and apply for the positions now in the positions like when you are applying the applying uh, putting up your online application so along with the the credentials that you have to put so there will be place for uploading your documents as well so some of the documents you have to upload in pdf format only some other documents it is mentioned in the advertisement that can be like the, the the caste certificate or if you have to upload the age certificate so those certificates can be uploaded uh, by scanning and taking a photocopy okay so candidates must upload the documents and certificates so that is very essential so all the documents that uh, uh, that, that that will uh, testify for all the details that, that you are putting up in the application all those documents need to be uploaded okay Next, uh, all kind of it is mentioned in the advertisement that all kind of correspondence from the commission to the candidate will be done through email only. So please make sure that you fill your correct and active email address. Okay, and there should not be any mistake in that. Please double check it because all kind of correspondence will be done through email only. And it is also very clearly mentioned that any call, uh, any call or any uh, in-person um, uh, query regarding the eligibility or qualifications will not be entertained. Next, candidates may apply for multiple posts by paying separate fee for each post. Okay, so here for the application, there is a minimal fee attached with the application for each post. I'll come to that. So if you are applying for multiple posts, you can do it if you are satisfying the criteria. you can apply for multiple posts but then you have to uh, pay a separate fee for each post okay that is essential that you have to do or else like if you are paying for only one post so only one post will be considered 
and this is also something that is important that after submitting the online recruitment application candidates are required to take out a printout of the finally submitted application and produce it along with the original certificates at the time of interview okay so when you are submitting the application it, uh, uh, an option will come out from uh, come pop up for the printout so you need to get that Okay, so and uh, and that application, it's not that you have to uh, send it or courier it in hard copy. You have to keep it with you. And in case you are called for interview, okay, so at the time of interview, along with all your original certificates and documents, you have to produce this online recruitment application as well. Okay, the fully filled application. All right. So you have to keep a printout of this. Now, again, this is important. So without it, they will not consider like even if they call you for interview. So they have mentioned it that without this um, uh, printed uh, submitted op application, uh, they, uh, the, the further processing will not be done. OK, so when you are submitting the application, fully filled application, along with all the attached document, make sure that you take a printout of it and you need to produce it at the time of interview. Now, what are some more important app, uh, information? So, as I told you that for application for the post, there are some application fees attached. So, candidates are required to pay a fee of 25 rupees. Okay. And that can be done by remitting the money in any branch of SBI by cash or by using net banking facility of the SBI or by using Visa, Master, uh, Visa card, MasterCard, Credit card or any other debit card. Okay. Now, and if you are applying for multiple posts, so you have to pay uh, this 25 rupees fee for each post multiple times. Okay. Now, uh, but there is a concession again that no fee is there. No application fee is there for SC, ST, person with disability and women candidates of any community. Okay, so if you fall in any of these categories, then there is no application fee. But for general OBC, uh, OBC uh, male candidates, okay, so there there is no concession and this application fee need to be uh, submitted. So in case you are applying without uh, paying this application fee and you fall in that, um, uh, that OB, general and OBC male category, then in that case, your application will be rejected. Okay, without the application fee. Only for this group of people, application fee is not required. Now, coming to the important dates, as I told you that uh, the opening, the, the advertisement has come through on this, on, on, on January 14. Okay, so the, the application dates are open now. So you can apply. Uh, the opening date was 14 January 2023 and the closing date. Okay, since it is completely online mode, so you can submit your form before 20, 11, uh, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. 59 uh, minute. Okay, so it's just like one minute before midnight on 2nd of February. You, till that time, you can submit your application. Okay, so 23.59 hours on 2nd of February 2023. Okay, but yes, definitely my suggestion will be that if you are qualifying in these positions and if you are interested in doing in applying, please finish your application before that closing hour. Okay, so all the candidates, whoever you think that uh, you are applicable and you can apply for this position, they are excellent position, government uh, positions, permanent positions and please go for it. Thank you everyone for watching the video.